All right, hopefully we are live, I think. So it's very exciting. Welcome to my first live. Uh, you're probably watching the replay right now. Um, I'm just gonna wait a minute and see if anybody logs on. I have, if you're watching this in the future, I still have a super small channel, so I don't even know if anyone's gonna log on. But um, yeah, I'm going to, I just realized I forgot to get some scissors. Uh, so hold on just a moment. Let me get some scissors. I will be right back. So, uh, if you hear any baby noises in the background, um, that is my child. She's three months old. Don't worry, she is not being neglected. My husband is watching her while I do this live. Um, so, I'm really excited. I have here today the Sibylline uh, and Mossery um, Collaboration Gouache Kit. And um, I didn't want to film this and edit it later because... I have a three month old and I don't wanna to have to edit videos right now. I have such a backlog of videos that need to be edited and uploaded. I don't wanna add more to that. Um, so I figured I'd just go live and have my husband watch my daughter for a few minutes. Um, if you don't know Sibylline, I have her uh, socials linked in the description. She is an amazing artist. I discovered her earlier this year. Um, one of her videos was recommended to me and I watched it and well, I mean, she makes very short YouTube videos are only like five-ish minutes long, five to 10 minutes, um, I think closer to five. Um, and her style is just amazing, um, cannot get over it. So I went to her channel to see what, you know, who this person was and what they were about. They only had three videos. But they had 60,000 subscribers and I was intrigued. I was like, what the heck, how, the, how? Th did this person break the algorithm or something? Like what did they do to get 60,000 subs with only three videos that are like less than five minutes? Um, well, then I found her Instagram and she's been on there for quite a while. I don't even know how long, um, but a long time. And she has like over 700,000 followers on Instagram. And I was like, oh, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, these people came from her Instagram. Um, well, I saw her Instagram and it is like insane. There's some artwork in here that you'll see um, like what she does, like her style, but her, she has like this amazingly, well, it's very colorful. And I think like, that's something that I've, I'm finding that a lot of my favorite art artists are like very heavy use of, of colors. Um, it's very colorful. Everything is very flat yet very detailed. And I was like, how, how, like, it, it, this person, she, she paints lines and she makes it so that the lines change colors. And I'm just like, this person, the level of detail that they put into their work, it's insane. And not only that, but her concepts, it's just like 10 out of 10. I was an instant fan. Uh, found out that Mossery was doing a collaboration with her and they were making a gouache kit and they were releasing it in November. I was checking literally every day um, to get this, this gouache kit. And finally they released it, managed to get my hands on one. Um, and like not long after that, they sold out of the gouache kits for the December shipment. And now you can't like get one until April. I mean, you can still, well, let me check. Um, I think, yeah, you can get one in March. So they've opened up pre-orders for the March squash kit. So if you want to get your hands on these, you can still get it, but it won't arrive until March. Um, so the link for that is also in the description. I just want to have full disclosure, like I'm not being paid for this. Um, I paid for this with my own money. Mossery and Sibylline did not ask me to make a review of this. I don't know why anyone would, because I only have like 65 subscribers right now. So that would be very stupid on their part. Um, but I just wanted to share this with everybody because I'm excited. So I'm going to go ahead and start opening this up. I was very impressed by how fast this got to me actually, because this was shipped out December 17th and it arrived this morning, December 20th. And it shipped out from Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, Malaysia. Um, so DHL is doing what they do best and doing, they're doing international shipping and they're doing it quick. So if you ever have to get stuff shipped internationally, 
and it's time sensitive. Highly recommend them. Um, yeah, so that was very impressive. <laughs> So excited! Well, I just saw like the the top of the box, and it's insane. Maybe I should go live on Instagram too. Okay, I'm gonna go live on Instagram. Hold on one second. Or should I? Is that too much? I think that's too much. Yeah, it's too much. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do YouTube. Okay, just focus. Just focus. We're fine. Sometimes I just get too excited, and I don't want to like overwhelm myself. You know. All right. Pretty well taped up. Oh my gosh, the box got a little smushed. That's bad. Okay, I'm sure the contents are all right though. But oh my goodness, look at look at that. Look at it. Oh, I'm so excited! Like you see what I mean? This girl is like so flipping good at what she does. I can see why Masari did a collaboration with her. It's insane. Um, says on the side, the Masari sibling Manet gouache kit is an artist curated collection of art tools that is suitable for anyone eager to try their hands at painting with gouache. Join sibling as she guides you on a journey of learning the ins and outs of gouache uh, her experience in using the paint and more. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced user, sibling will surely inspire you to grab a brush and start painting. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So yeah, she's a French illustrator. So I like that this gives you a little bit of info about sibling because I mean, I can't find a whole lot of information on her on, on her profile, but she's a French illustrator born in the Alps. She grew up in an artistic household where books, films, Drawings and music always had an important place. She has been surrounded by trees, animals, mountains, and all types of flowers her whole life. As a kid, drawing was her main interest as there wasn't much to do besides running around in the fields. Today, her work is inspired by the environment she grew up in. So, very exciting. All right, I'm gonna try to slip off this sleeve without damaging it, because I want to. Can I preserve? The sleeve. I feel like I'm gonna have to cut this off. I don't want to cut it off. It's too pretty. Oh, oh, oh. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna have a tough time getting this back on. Hold on, let me take a picture with this on because I want. Okay, all right, I'm taking a picture for my Instagram stories, so hold on just a sec. Mm, yeah, let's do that. Um, That was a good one. I think that was a decent one. All right. Okay, now I can take it off because I wanted to get a picture of it before I, oh shoot. One more for, for the thumbnail for this video. All right, we're done with the photos. Let's move on. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. All right. 
Come on. Come on, baby. This thing is tight. Oh my goodness. I don't want to damage it though because it's too pretty. So pretty. There we go. All right. Yeah. So there is the sleeveless version and it's got some tape on it. So we're going to cut the tape. This is what it looks like. Ah, I'm sorry. This is what it looks like inside. Looks like there's a little card from Sibling. It says, hello you. Thank you for purchasing this kit. I always get questions about the tools I use and how I use them. Thanks to Mossery, I finally had the opportunity to give, to give you some answers. I hope you will enjoy this kit and the workbook we cooked up for you. Thank you for your support, your enthusiasm and curiosity. I know you'll create wonderful paintings with this kit. So that's the back side. That's the front side. Sibylline. And then it's got like this cool bag to hold all the supplies. So that's awesome. And then it looks like, I don't know if this is the um, actual sketchbook or if it's the workbook. Because I know that this includes a sketchbook with watercolor paper as well as a workbook. Okay, so this is what the little envelope folder thing looks like. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, this is my first Mastery notebook and I'm so excited. I wanted one of those for the longest time. Oh, and it's just, oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Uh, the only thing that defines us is what's inside of our hearts, Eleanor, Malaysia. And then it looks like they gave me a coupon code, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Ooh. Okay, all right. So here is my notebook and they put my name on it. This is one of the cool things about Mossery, if you're not familiar with Mossery, is that um, you can personalize the notebook. So they'll uh, emboss your name on it or put some sort of saying on there. Um, so let's take a look. Here is what the cover looks like. It's just, ugh, just so, so pretty. She just does such high quality work. It's amazing. Okay, Mosstober 2020. That's interesting. So um, it looks like this is like a little booklet of artists that they featured this past Inktober. Um, so I'll give that a look later. Okay, so then this is nice that they have a little space for you to put like your start and end date and then they have like a place for you to put the contact info just in case you lose your book. Um, that's really cool. And then, this is very interesting, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it looks like there's a front section to this uh, Mossery notebook. So it has some places for you to put like various inspirations. So it has, um, so it's, it's called in inspiration board. So there's films, songs, places, books, uh, words to live by, role models, values and beliefs, priorities, and then um, three things to improve, change, or achieve very nice nice little touch and then there's like this little divider and then it has the um watercolor pages um so and it seems pretty good quality i forget what the gsm was on this i think i don't even want to try to say it because i'm probably gonna get it wrong but uh yeah watercolor paper and the cool thing also about mastery notebooks is that this is just a cover and when you um like use up the entire inside, you can get a new insert and continue using this cover if you wanted to. So um, I think that's like a really cool feature. Okay, so then it comes with um, 
some stickers called the shapes of you. So I'm just going to hold this up because there's a lot of text here. And if you want to pause it and look at it, you can. All right, there you go. Um, okay, so that is the sketchbook. <laughs> oh, I'm just so like, I'm so excited. It's been a long time since I've gotten art supplies, guys. It's been a long time. I mean, okay, I shouldn't say that. I did get art supplies recently. Um, I got like some paintbrushes and some watercolor paints, like the metallic ones. And I'm planning to make a video about the things that I got, but it's just like, all like since the last time before that it's been years like I haven't gotten art supplies in a super long time okay so there's like this little pink bag and it seems like these are the wash colors so one thing that I appreciate about siblings work all right let me pull these out um there's a lot of wash here um like I never understood the purpose of having like a whole bunch of colors like in certain kinds of paints, you know, like like having a pink and then a green and then a teal and then like a light blue and then a dark blue and then like a bluish green. You know what I mean? So um, one thing that I've noticed about Sibling's work and how she keeps her style so clean, it seems like she it is by using like those flat like those different colors, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I'm making sense. Like she, she uses those colors to keep like a very clean and like um, style. Yeah. Okay. And so it looks like these are some of her most used colors. Um, so we got shell pink, deep yellow, primary black, light blue, burnt sienna, blue green, light apricot, titanium white, vermilion, and ultramarine deep. So, these are all the gouache colors and they're all from Holbein Aqua. Uh, very good brand if you're not familiar with them. Lots of gouache illustrators use them. Okay, so I'm gonna put these back in here. And we're gonna see what's next in this bag of goodies. Okay. All right, so it feels like this is probably some sort of like paintbrushes and stuff. So let's check that out. All right, so we got some mint green washi masking tape, a sailor eraser, some uh, 0.5 Pencil lead, is this blue or is it just regular color? I think it's just regular. Um, a mechanical pencil. And then three paint brushes. We have Princeton Velvet Touch Filbert size eight. What's that? Wait, should I do it that way? There you go. Um, and then we have a Princeton Velvet Touch round size zero. Princeton Velvet Touch 10, 10, a tenth, 10 zeros. I don't, I don't understand how that fraction is supposed to work, but that, that's the size. <laughs> Long bag. And it looks like this is probably the workbook. I'm gonna save that for last. Oh no, no, that's not work, the workbook. Okay, let's see what we got. Here's the workbook. Oh, and this is some artwork. Ooh. 
Okay. Oh, and then a porcelain palette. I love a good palette. Like that. Okay, and then, um, gosh, I can't decide which to open first. Um, I think I'm gonna open the artwork last. Okay. Uh, let's see. Almost done. Okay. So this is the water, like this is the um, workbook that Sibling made for Mossery. And it uh, has watercolor paper in it. Um, okay, so looks like this is in the instruction booklet. It has information about how to mix colors and uh, steps for completing the artworks. I'm not gonna show all this obviously because um, I don't know, I just don't feel like that would be fair to Sibling and Mossery to, to share like literally everything inside. Um, I feel like this is probably like their most proprietary thing in this kit. So I don't wanna like give it all away. Um, I just don't think that would be very cool. But yeah, so it looks like here, there, there's all the instructions in here um, for how to come um, fill in all the uh, workbook thingies. I don't know how to describe it. Anyways. So then here's the companions for um, the uh, workbook set. So like obviously the other one is like the colored version and then this shows you how to mix those together. This is like so great because it actually like, I'm sorry if you can hear my baby in the background. Um, it actually shows you like how to mix the colors to like achieve um, certain things. And then here are the outlines. So they have the, these in the guidebook um, and then she shows you the colored version and then you're supposed to like try to replicate it. Which I'm kind of glad that like some of them are step by step, but then some of them aren't because you can kind of like understand the flow for how she does things and then like try to replicate it on your own without like step by steps instructions, um, which I think is really important for learning how to draw and how to paint. Like having to figure out how to do something on your own, um, even while mimicking somebody else's style, like will teach you a lot. And then I like that these are one-sided too because I mean I don't know if it's recommended but since it's kind of like just a workbook I mean you could try to completely replicate these on the other side or maybe even try to like do something similar in the same style that might be a good idea she just like is so detailed in her work it's amazing I don't know how she does it but I'm gonna find out so really like, I don't know if you guys have people like that where like, you're like, oh man, when I grow up, I wanna be like you, even though I'm already grown up and maybe they're not or they are, I don't know. But like, you just, regardless, you would like to be more like them in some ways. I don't know. Anyways, so this is really cool. So it looks like it has like objects and um, like little, fruits and things like that and, and life drawings. And then it has like um, hands and arms and, and people. And it also has um, even landscapes, which I think is really cool. So it has some landscapes that you can do in here. So I feel like that really hits a, a wide spectrum. And even like it has some of her fully finished works that has like all of those things. So it has person and little cutesy objects around and then a background. So that's really neat. So you can do like some finished works um, from in her style. So that's, I think that's just so cool. Um, I haven't really seen a lot of uh, like tutorial books kind of like that. Some of them are a little bit too step-by-step -step and they don't like really cover a full spectrum that can really help you figure out how to do a lot of things in a certain style. You know what I mean? All right. 
So here we go. Here are the artworks that came. I'm, I'm just so excited for this. Oh, are, are there greeting cards? I mean, I guess you could use them as greeting cards. That's cool. But girl with a Dalmatian with funky colored spots. Girl with a deer. Oh, I don't want to, okay, there we go. All right, girl with her Shiba Inu and getting sunflowers. She made a video of this one. Girl with a tiger. She sends a lot of girls with wild animals. Interesting uh, motif. Ooh, and then sticker sheets. I didn't realize there were sticker sheets in here. So here's one of her sticker sheets. And then here is another one. She made a video doing this one as well. And then, oh, this is so cool. She got that one. See, like, I love how I want to do, like, themes of things um, on my Instagram. I think it would be really cool. And one of the things that I would like to do is, like, a month of, like, painting things the wrong color, kind of like this, where it's, like, the everything that should be blue is pink, and then, like, the sun is red, and then she's blue. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I think that'd be fun. And then girl in a cafe with her cat. So anyways, guys, um, if you watch this to the end, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It helps out my channel. Um, go check out Sibeline and her channel and her Instagram. She's a really amazing artist. And uh, if you're watching this in December, then you still have the opportunity to get this gouache kit um, and you know, it, it'll be a couple months out, but you still have the opportunity to get your hands on one. Um, so far, everything looks really good quality. And I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but I think it would be something good uh, to recommend. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.